Hey folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and I'm just sitting around waiting for the plumber. I spent the morning looking for a lost credit card for the stepmom, and now I figured, well, I've already killed half the day. Might as well kill the rest waiting for the plumber to fix my first floor toilet, but you don't need to know that, and you don't care, do you? All right, so let me show you a little drawing. This is something I'm looking for. And by the way, you might want to consider the fact that if this doesn't exist, let's patent it under my name. You want to make one? You're a manufacturer? Make one. Send me the proto. We'll work on it. Now, obviously, it, my graphics drawing ability is nil but what we've got is most like we're using the gooseneck now works fine with the uh, alcatel and or the mold g3 here but it sure would be nice to be able to just grab them and not have to rebend and retwist when i want to do stuff so how about one that has three legs, a telescoping arm that goes out to about, I don't know, eight to nine inches, meaning it'll be at the same level I'm looking at now. And uh, then these two arms that come out. Now, those arms, are, you know, they're not gonna be spindly like that. They might be pretty thick doesn't matter as long as they're out of the way and they can have the springs on them. What does matter is the actual grabber be no bigger than, that's kind of drawn to actual scale. There's a reason for that. Uh, let's say you've got the mobile G3 here, and obviously we're filming on it, but I'll point it out. Uh, you don't want to cover this up, obviously. We don't care if we cover up the mic or the speaker. So if we could grab it here and here. Oh, we got a good grip and now we're able to do our thing. And you can have it you know, kind of curve over and hook. Now the Axon M, major reason I need this kind of tripod. See all the damn buttons are, you know, you got the hinge on one side, it's a foldable phone. Now, right now, I just hang it from my gooseneck, which means I can easily do front facing. But I wanted to have it, you know, in my hands for this. Uh, but you can't use it if there are a couple of holes at the top, but they ain't going to work. You've got your uh, fingerprint reader here and your power button. Uh-oh. That's going to be running into whatever's grabbing it. You've got this uh, other button down here that will activate the camera, whether you know, or whatever you set it for. And then your volume rockers. So you have a limited space on them. And you, you just can't do that on a gooseneck. Actually, there's almost no space to do that. So, if you had what you saw in my drawing there, which I'll show you one more time. Just those little arms, and, and they can be thick as hell, as long as the actual contact points are very tiny. It won't matter what kind of phone it is, and I guarantee there's somebody out here who wants one of those. Hi. You heard it here first. It's what I need. Uh, that's all I got for today. Back to waiting for the plumber. Have a great day.